So here we are again as we journey on in this trip, uh, checking out Radcliffe, how much it changed over the past 20 months since I've been here. And I'm at another shopping center, pretty much on the corner of West Lincoln Trail and Dixie Highway. I'm not quite sure what this shopping center in front of me is called, but um, here we'll take a look at it. Now here it is. I think I've only been to one place over here, which is again a Mexican restaurant. I think it's somewhere there as I'm zooming in called El Camino's. Yeah, it's a little farther down. So I have been into one of the hardware stores over here. That one there is a pretty nice place to go shopping in. Somewhere around here, or maybe on the other side of the road, is a Chinese restaurant everybody says is pretty good. But as we pan around, coming up to KFC there, like this is another store that's closed, a little restaurant. Jerry's, I think that was a local, locally ran restaurant here. But I want to say it closed before before the pandemic happened, so I don't think it had nothing to do with the pandemic. And so, there, McDonald's back over there. So not a whole lot to see here, but it's just another shopping center, Econo Lodge. So I just came back here to look at that. So we'll, we'll walk out here a little bit. I think there's Wendy's on the corner here, but they're, I think they're doing a little remodeling on the Wendy's. Now we can't see it. So we're going to cruise on. There's a big tent set up over there. I'm not sure what's going on there. But it's a nice day for whatever you want to do. Sun shining. So we're going to continue on to the heart of town. Keeping in mind, Radcliffe is not a very big place, even though there's a big army base here. And I'm just looking at how much things changed between September 2019 and April 2021 when I returned back here. Especially what a bad grip the pandemic had on everybody. So let's continue on this journey. Ooh, I see I'm pretty dark on that side. Let's try to get a little over here now. All right, so we made it to another part of town not quite the center. But let me show you another view. So, of course we start out as an Asian restaurant right here. And this is like a pretty busy corner, if you will. There is see the corner where Walmart is at. We'll zoom in, pan a little up. And over here, we have the Aldi that was there before I departed here. That's, this is 31W. <clears throat> we'll just pan around. AT&T, so I'll do another pan. So a lot of traffic comes through here. And 
Not a whole lot to see. But it's a busy street corner. For those of you who were here before. And so we shall cruise on to someplace else. All right, here we go. Oh, there's one other place, I guess, of interest. Wir unter Deutschen. For anybody who's German. They do have a little German restaurant here. Right there, trying to zoom in. Right there, where that sign is at. I'm trying to get my finger in there. So right where that sign is at, right there. A German restaurant. I have been there one time. You know, don't want to try to be a food critic. Feels all right, but I don't know what it was. Anything but German. So, head back to the Jeep. Lawnmower. If you got a lawnmower business, people like a lot of money here doing this. So folks have some very big yards. All right, we're moving on. I think this is Wilson Road. Leads up to Fort Knox, to one of the gates. One of the back gates at Fort Knox. Time to jump in the Jeep and cool off a little bit. It is hot. So we can hit our next destination. Stay tuned. And here's our next de destination. Takes us to Applebee's. This is kind of the center of the universe here. And also, we're just going to cruise up the sidewalk here. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's Applebee's and Walmart. So, we get a, a once of that. This is kind of the center of the universe for Radcliffe. Everybody goes shopping here. It's the best place to go shopping. I won't really say it's the only place, but uh, I have been to Elizabeth Town, or as the locals call E Town, shopping just to do something different, but it costs you a lot of gas to do that. So this is, that's this corner. There are some little stores down that way. One of them being, I like it, the Dollar Tree. Pretty good. So we cruise on to a few more places. But there's a good place to eat too, I guess I should mention. They have some of the best steak bourbon that uh, bourbon street steak onions and mushrooms very good so let's move on all right <clears throat> we're close to one of the gates that leads to Fort Knox but I stopped here at this old abandoned shopping center cause this is kind of interesting where Ford parked all of their brand new trucks at. This used to be a giant, this was an empty parking lot where like big trucks used to park overnight. 
But as you see, one day driving by, I just noticed, look at all these trucks that are parked there. And I think this has to do with the uh, shortage of some type of chip they need. So then, I guess Ford is just building them. Let me zoom out a little bit. And storing them places until they get the chip. And then they're ready, ready to go. But just hundreds of trucks all over the place. So, So that's just something interesting, I know this. It's <laughs> sort of new, but I think it's happening all over the place. And something here closed, but since I never did shop here, because the names on all the buildings are gone. Let's just zoom out a little bit more. It's all empty. But it's right by the Navy Federal Credit Union. So, something else that went out of business. And I think that's really about it to really show. I'll just drive up the main street, see if I can get a video just cruising down the road. I guess my next adventure will be Elizabeth Town. Radcliffe is kind of small, but like I say, it's a peaceful little place, some nice people. Maybe I'll head over to the park because I'm hungry. Sit there and eat some lunch. We'll see. Stay tuned. So this is the park at Radcliffe. Or in Radcliffe. Very peaceful. Not one kid here. Got playgrounds and all. But no chilling. There's a squirrel. See if I can zoom in on him. Oh, there he is. Oops. Let's see till he runs. Well, it's not afraid. Probably because people have been feeding him. you're full or something's wrong with you. What's up, fella? Yeah, there he goes. So, that's it for that. So, nice and cool. <clears throat> so, I'm going to have a little lunch. Got some benches. And naturally, I brought a little cooler with me. Take a little break and eat something. I'll be right back. So this is a shot of my little snack food. Lunchtime. <clears throat> Got some nuts, some carrots, some apples, some grapes, some crackers. Do I have anything with crackers? Oh, a little cheese. A little cheese is always good. Cheese and crackers. So <clears throat> take a little break to feed the hunger now because this video there's not a lot more to actually show here you know it's a nice quiet little park 
There's some folks just driving around. Kids are out of school, but I guess kids don't play outside no more. That's that. Take a little break here, having some a light lunch. I knew I would get hungry. So I think I have done all I could to show everybody Radcliffe. What's changed, especially for me, over the last 18 months I've been gone. If someone has something special they want to see, anywhere around here, I don't care. I love to take trips. It gives me something to do. I go fishing a lot. Heard about a new lake I'm gonna try, maybe tomorrow. I might make a video there. Just someplace new. It's about a half hour drive from here. So I will check it out. park is very clean, I can say that, so I'm not trying to <laughs> mess up that beauty. Even got a skateboard ramp. Haven't seen any grills, but looked like something was down there. Yeah, a really cool place to barbecue. Even has bathrooms. have everything you need here. Don't have any lighting. But I think if I remember correctly, I seen a sign somewhere that said that the park was closed after the hours of darkness. So no hinky pinky. <laughs> Well, we have five minutes on this video, this eating video. But I can't bring it to a close. But I'd like to thank everybody for watching my videos. I'm learning a lot as I go through doing this. So, like I said, any special requests, hit me up. I don't mind. Besides, it gives me something to do on the weekend. So, with that being said, I'd like to thank everybody for watching.